Vroom. Hop in the phone, go zoom, zoom. Me and my Frankie, we just kicking it. We gotta add up our dividends. All of my niggas, they with Pop out in the head. Boom, boom, boom. 40 is clear in the room, room. You better duck it, go boom, boom. Foreign is moving like vroom, vroom. Hop in the phone, go zoom, zoom. But we we sure know we know us. Go get it. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Sky Sox and the Texas Rangers. Matt Duffy looks to keep up the pace in the AL batting title race right after this. Kyle Gibson is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? One of the things that jumps out, if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts as we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Here's the first pitch to him. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. And fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. They come in fresh off a of victory last time out, but it comes on the heels of a five-game losing streak prior to that. Hey, Matty V, you know, if there's such a good thing as splitting a series, dear old, this is the one. They lose the first two games of this series, win game three. They'd like nothing more than to split this series and win game four. Yeah, Bobby Cox always used to say, you got to take care and beat the teams you're supposed to beat and then play 500 against the really good teams. They have a chance to do that exactly today. Drop the first two, but if they can win today, they split this series and move on. And now look out as Ed runs in and gets him. And a very interesting start to this one. Well, there's no strategic reason to hit the leadoff man that I can think of. So now he's aboard with no outs to start the game. And that's not how you want to get your outing underway on the mound. Striding forward now is the DH. Corey Dickerson, career against Kyle Gibson. He's gone two for eight. Here's the first pitch to him. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. Andrus, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. Into the box now, Anthony Rendon. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. What a powerhouse season in the top ten in home runs and runs batted in. He's also one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. First pitch of the at-bat. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. From the stretch. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Dickerson leads off first with one away. Three and 0 now. We're seeing a good AB here from the three hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. That is four. The catcher, number 28. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And 13 at bats so far in the series, he's collected three base hits. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Hey, you know, Dero, Rusty Valentine, he's known for having a high and a low strike zone, but 
He's pretty good east and west. You better keep it on the corners. Yeah, I'm okay with Rusty's zone, without question. You know he's going to elevate. It's north-south, so you're aware of it. As a veteran player, you can live with that. The 1-1 home. Mind to the right side. Santana is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. That is fifth. The left fielder, number 10. Mike Yastrzemski. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Mike Yastrzemski batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Comes set. The 0 1. In the dirt here. The runners will stay put. However, the count evens at one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two men are on with two men out. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Payoff right, pitch on its way. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Madison Bumgarner will be on the mound for game four. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy's one of the most dominant pitchers in the game, and how dominant? Picked up a double-digit strikeout total in his last start, and hopefully he'll bring that A game with him in the ballpark for this one. Striding into the box, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not your top, Elvis Andrews. Here it comes now to Andrus. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Fellows are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. Despite the loss last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. Hey, thanks, Matty. This is a big one here, Dero. They've won two of the first three of this series. This swing game here, you'd like to win three out of four. I know what you're at this point, but boy, a split certainly would not be good for this ball club right now. Yeah, Dan, to win the first two games, all right, you can live with dropping the third game of the set, but you don't want to end this 2-2. You work too hard early to not win this series. Shinsu Chu at the plate now as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. The set and the 1 0 pitch. Swung on and belted to right by Chu. This one's deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 17 for him on the season. As that will give the Rangers a 2 to nothing lead. What a way to start this one off. The score is top of the frame. And you answer with a bomb at the bottom of the first.
settling in now. Matt Duffy he had a strong showing at the plate in the first oh, half, currently sitting in third place in the league's batting race. Yeah, well within striking distance to get himself a batting championship title here. He's going to have to put together a nice second half to get it done, though. Right there for strike one. And he's really continued to look great in the second half of the season over the last 10 games, hitting over 300. He's been so consistent all year. His timing, just his presence in the box. It doesn't look like this is going away anytime soon. Probably going to battle for a batting title the rest of the way. Base is empty here with nobody out. Pops this one up. Lastella ranging into shallow right. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting four. The right field. Danny. Santana. Coming to the plate now, Danny Santana. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, they think they may have gotten him again. This one's hit deep to left field. And for the second time in the inning, the gopher ball will come back to bite him. It's a home run. A solo shot here to left. Number 18 for him on the campaign as the Rangers have moved out to a 3 to nothing lead. It's very early, but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or he blows up. Could go either way at this point. At the plate now, Ronald Guzman. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. No. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. Pitch on the way. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. At the plate, Kyle Tucker. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Three runs already home here. That evens it up one and one. Bumgarner's ready. Here's the delivery. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Todd Frazier would be next. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Yastrzemski's got it for out number three. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. One inning in the books here. The Rangers lead it three to nothing.
Josh Bell the next to hit. He's been held in check in the series, just one for 12 coming in. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Out in front of it, strike one. And despite his success with the bat this year, he's going through a really tough stretch in recent games, batting under the Mendoza line over his last 10. Yeah, he struggled the last 10 games, no doubt about it, but the sample size in the first half is too big. It's only going to take one swing for him to get right back on track. And he'll get there to make the catch right next to the tarp. The second baseman, Tommy Lucella. Here's Tommy LaStella now. He's swinging the bat well in the series. Five for 12 so far. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Lays off 1 and 0. And while he put up tremendous numbers in the first half, his stats over the last 10 games or so have brought him back down to earth a little. Yeah, he's certainly slowed. His timing looks a little bit off these last 10 games, but. Still finding a way to work that one knock at night in there and keep everybody off his back. I think he figures it out pretty quick here. Two balls and a strike. And looking at his post All-Star break performance, his pace has slowed down a bit, but not to the point where there's any real reason for concern just yet. Yeah, I wouldn't be concerned about it. Anytime you're hovering in that 280 to 300 range for 10 games, you usually feel pretty good about it. The only problem is he had such a great first half, his average has actually dipped a little bit. The 3 1. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Stepping in now, Bo Bichette. As he'll take a look at ball one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Tucker waits on it, and that retires the side. Frazier now. He's gone over his first six at bats in the series so far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. 1-0. Wind up and a 1 0 pitch. Here we go. And it's fouled away. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. That's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Frazier is retired, and there's one away. So next to the plate for Texas, Nick Solak. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. On to first, and Bumgarner's rolling right through him here. Two away now. So stepping in, Jeff Mathis. To try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Here comes the first pitch. 
Rising fastball, and it catches the zone for a strike. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in a dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. And there's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and a strike. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Bumgarner into his motion. Here it is on two and two. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. Rangers set down in order but they lead it three nothing. Digging in Mike Talkman as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Mike. Here comes the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. On the ground to third. Right to Frazier. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting. The right fielder. Mookie. Bet. Here's Mookie Betts swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. And the pitch. Oh, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. At the plate, he's really continued to look great in the second half. Over his last 10 games, hitting over 300. No surprise this guy found himself in the All-Star game in the Midsummer Classic. He absolutely had a monster first half. He was almost a certain lock to represent his team at that game. And that's the second out. Now batting the designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. Digging in for his second at bat, Corey Dickerson, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Yeah, but small victories right now. This guy on the mound is throwing a no no, and he put the ball in play last time. Maybe a ground ball with eyes, and we could change the whole momentum of this one. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0. Ball two. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's three and O. Oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. In now is Anthony Rendon reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance.
He's set. Here it comes. Oh, and one count and the pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Count one and two. Hit sharply on the ground. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Here's Elvis Andrus now to start the inning out. Matt Vaskersen, Mark DeRosa, and Dan Kruzak with you in the booth for this one. And First pitch on its way. Hit on the ground to third. Rendon is there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now that the center fielder, Jim Chu. Ready to take his hacks again, Shinsu Chu, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. Chu, 37 years old. He's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Yeah, Maddie, it's going to be interesting to see where this guy lands at the end of this season. A lot of variables come into place. He's had a long career. It's going to be interesting to see if a team steps out past one or two years for this player. The 1 1. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Next down, two and two. Soft liner to the right side. And there are two away now. Now back, the designated hitter. Next will be the designated hitter, Matt Duffy. He flew out in his last at bat. Bumgarner has his target. Here's the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Duffy, often known as the Duff Man in baseball circles, he was taken in the 18th round during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Uh, hey, d -Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible, and if two-out knocks are the answer, and so be it. So here's the cleanup hitter, Danny Santana. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. Hey, a two-out single isn't all that bad, but it can be when you've got this part of the lineup coming up. Come on, Rangers! Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location to hit. 
too high. Nope. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. 3 0 -oh pitch. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 -oh count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Full count, three and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Three two pitch is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. One left for Texas. They lead it three to nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Yosmani Grandal comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 and 0. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And a strike to even the count. One and one. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. And while we have a moment, here's a look at the Rangers' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. Standing in now, Mike Yastrzemski. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. We mentioned his position in the batting race earlier in the game, and with a batting average above the 400 mark over his last 10 games, it's a little scary to think that he might be getting better as the season wears on. Yeah, you watch this guy knock the donut off the bat. He strides to the plate with nothing but confidence, and rightfully so. He's been swinging a hot bat lately. Last 10 games really has turned it up a notch. Fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Hit to third. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. What a hot streak. Stay hot, my friend. Up over 290. He is flirting with that 300, elusive 300 batting average mark. So that'll bring up Josh Bell as he'll send a ground ball down to third to second for one relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired around the horn they go five to four to three to end the threat back with more on a Thursday night following this. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right, Heidi, thank you. Digging in, Ronald Guzman. He'll begin things here against Madison Bumgarner. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. 
name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. A two and one count to the Rangers first baseman. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Now the 2 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. He stays alive, still 2 and 2. Full count now, three and two. Fouled off. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. So one away here with the bases empty. And in to hit next will be the outfielder, Kyle Tucker. pitch coming here it is tried to check it and it's 0 and 1 three runs four hits and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far nope ball one that one looked like it could easily have gone the other way there's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1 but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat Now here's the pitch. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. The 2 1 home is in there for strike number two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Yastrzemski will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now batting third baseman, Scott Frazier. Up next for the Rangers, Todd Frazier. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Four, that's inside. The 1 0. And it's fouled away. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Yastrzemski's got it for out number three. One, two, three, go the Rangers. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tommy LaStella. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. LaStella. Now pitch on the way. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. One and one to Tommy Lostella. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. Hop 
scoops this one up. Frazier in foul ground, and no one will track it down. The 2 2. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Striding in, Bo Bichette. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the stretch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. A two run blast to straight away right field number 13 for him on the year as it's now a three two ball game. When this one left the bat I thought it was going to be an easy out to right but it just kept carrying and carrying and the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back but no dice. At the plate, Mike Talkman. Mike. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He's 0-1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. To the plate now, Mookie Betts. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. He was a ground out victim last time up. And low, it's a ball and a strike. hit pretty well out toward right center field a ball that's carrying on the warning track he makes the catch now batter the designated hitter Corey Dickerson ready for another shot now Corey Dickerson it was a walk in his last trip First pitch on its way. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Two out, nobody on. Line drive to center field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. As the pitching coach heads out to the mound, I think this is probably just a case of giving your guy a chance to catch his breath, pump him up a little bit, let him know that he's got it under control. And 
And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. A ball of no strikes. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. The 2 0 pitch grounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul 2 and 1. A runner on first with two away. And a cold strike on the outside part of the plate. Sinker, three and two now. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. Tucker waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run home run. On to the bottom of the fifth. The Rangers lead this one three to two. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Standing in, Nick Solak. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Pass ball just inside. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. This is in the air out to left field. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for route number one. The catcher number two. Yes. Ready now, Jeff Mathis looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The pitch. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Fifth inning of play here in a 3 2 ball game. A swing and a ground ball to third, but this is foul. One one swing and a line drive foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two. I'll tell you he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell. So I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. And good. Here's Elvis Andrus now. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Now the 1 0. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. Into right field, that's a base hit. So he'll hold on at first following the single to right. And they get two hits for him here this evening. And as we check out the Rangers leaders in that category, you can see his total currently second best on the ball club. So striding in, Shinsu Chu he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier.
down the stretch. And a ball, 1 0. Three runs, five hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Grounded to the right. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, after back to back two out hits right now. This pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. So now to the plate, Matt Duffy, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's one for two in this one. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch hit the other way out toward right field. Betts has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Rangers leave a pair. They're up three to two. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Yosmani Grandal. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Now here's the pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. High chopper to third. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Mike Yastrzemski is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. A little bit outside, two and one. From the belt, the pitch. Aye. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because. Even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. In now, Josh Bell. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. And not what they were hoping for as that moves the possible tying run into scoring position. 
Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. The 1-0. Taken for a strike on the inside corner, two and one. Has a look, now the pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Two, two, here it is. Pops this one up. Guzman ranging into shallow right. He gets there, and that's the second out. The batter of the game, second baseman, Tommy Lestella. Coming to the plate now, Tommy Lestella, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Striding forward now, Danny Santana, a hit in two tries for him so far. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Curveball just misses apparently, 1-0. And the pitch. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. High and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now that the first base Now in the box, Ronald Guzman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First offering on its way. Hey. On one. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Here's the pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. No hitter is ever going to feel good about taking the hat trick with three strikeouts in the game, but I will say he's not the first guy to have a terrible game against my man on the mound. And you know what? He won't be the last. We all know he's one of the best in the business for a reason. Into the box, Kyle Tucker as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls in a strike he's hitless in his two at bats so far into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 
This is hit the other way out toward left field. Back goes Yastrzemski. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Rangers set down in order, but they still lead it 3-2. to two. Jesse Chavez will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Number 31, Jesse Chavez. Bo Bichette will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only runs of the ball game on one swing of the bat as this was the swing right here. First pitch of the at bat. And that's in there for a strike. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone indeed. It's strike two. Now the pitch. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. Standing in, Mike Talkman. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh. Come on. Count the 1-0. is a slider taken for a ball. He swings right through it there. Two and one. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two-seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. This is driven to right. And no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number five on the year as it's now a three all ball game. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Standing in now, Mookie Betts. Mookie. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Slider gets him swinging to God. We know he's probably still thinking about that game tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give now him that. credit for not showing that and bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. At the plate now, Corey Dickerson. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball middle of the plate. Kept his hands back. Stayed through the baseball. And delivers a hard hit line drive. Into the box now. Anthony Rendon. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. 
Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Oh, and I think that got him in the foot. Unable to recover. He's safe at first, and now the attention turns back to the guy on the mound. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The set and the 1 0. Pulled toward right center field. And Chu will put this one away without incident, and the inning is over. But the tying run comes across to score here as this one looks like it'll go to the wire. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark, and we are all tied at three apiece. Riding in once again, Todd Frazier. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. Here's the pitch. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Drill down the line. Rendon has it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other. One away. Up next to the Rangers, the second baseman. Now with the plate, Nick Solak. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. 1-1. Oh, one, one. Oh, And that's a base hit in the left field. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two base hits this year. And we find that these guys are currently fourth best in that category in the junior circuit. Skipper out of the dugout making the slow trek to the mound. He's going to make a move here, so that'll do it tonight for Madison Bumgarner. He departs in a tie ball game, but is responsible for that runner at second, so the best he can hope for is a no decision here. Michael Lorenzen will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year.
at the plate, Jeff Mathis. And so show bunt here, and he indeed went around for strike one. Hmm. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And the throw goes to first, so the sacrifice works that time. The batter, number one, good job. That was good. That was good. So Elvis good. Andres, the next to bat. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here it comes now to Andres. No problem with that take right there. First pitch from a reliever. Got to calibrate that velocity. Comes set. V01. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. The 0 and 2. One ball, two strikes. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. A 1 2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. There is La Stella. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Rangers leave one. Still tied 3 to 3. Martin has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. New inning set to get underway. So coming to the plate, Mike Yastrzemski. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. On to the eighth here as a slider is taken to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there. 1-0. and oh. And he misses again. 2-0. and oh. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever. But falling behind 2-0 and oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Now here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Andrews fields it cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The first baseman. Time now to give you a look at our starter comparison in this 3-3 ball game. Both pitchers turning in fairly good performances, as you can see on the graphic. Digging in to try it again. Josh Bell. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. First delivery to him on the way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Hits are even at 7 apiece. Swing and a miss for strike one. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Hey. A ball and two strikes. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The one-two. Fouled off. The one two is laid off for ball two. One out, nobody on. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter number nine. Second base. Tommy Lestella. In now, Tommy Lestella.
Now here's the pitch. Hey. Into the wind, the 0 1. Lifted the other way to left center. On the run is Tucker. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Jose Alvarado is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Alvarado. He's digging in. Shinsu Chu. He's two for three and looking for more here. Shinsu Chu. Set and the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Line shot to first, and there's one away. The batter, number six, designated hitter. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Matt Duffy. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Bases are empty, one man out. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now, down 0 2. Got to find a way to grind. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. One out, nobody on. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to, and that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. In now, Danny Santana as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready with the 0 and 1. One ball, one strike. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Alvarado, a former Tampa Bay Ray, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know him. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents a go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Ready once again, Ronald Guzman. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And a dive, but he's back. First delivery to him on the way. 
A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Throw over to the bag, and he just manages to get his hand in. The set and the 1 0. And that's high and away, and the count goes to 2 0. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. And that's in there, two and one. Two and one, here it is. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Three and one, here it is. And a full count now, three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. Hard hit at third, fielded by Rendon. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. One left for Texas. Score remains tied at three to three. Luis Garcia will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. So digging in now, Bo Bichette. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's 2-0 now. And now a pitch on the way. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Three and one the count now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Out of play. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Stepping in, Mike Talkman. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Ball one. The 1-0. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Now the 2-0. Oh. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And that is down for extra bases. And with nobody out, we'll see if they want to wave that go-ahead run home. And the run will score all the way from first. It's a 4-3 to three game. 
now that boy those have to feel really good Dero. you just get late in the game you come up with a big rbi base hit right here to give your team the lead yeah no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning you want to show up when the game is on the line can you quiet your emotions down take the crowd out of it and slow yourself down enough to come through and that's exactly what he did Mookie Betts is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. The 0 and 1 delivery high in the air and deep to left center field racing back the left fielder and it's gone. Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. 24 home runs for him on the season, and it's now 6-3. to three. Colby Aller will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Into the box, Corey Dickerson. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. The pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. To the plate now, Anthony Rendon. As he'll watch a first-pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He's working on a one-for-three thus far. Swings through it for strike number two. And a good two strike breaking ball there but this will wind up missing. It's one and two. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him but just missed his own. Throw on to first two gone. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. At the plate, Yosmani Grandal. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. And that misses ball one. Two balls and no strikes. Now the 2 0 home he is looked at for the first strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard on the ground to second. That's through. He's got a base hit. His second in this one, two for five now. I appreciate the moxie right there, but three fastballs at this level usually turns into a knot. Standing in now, Mike Yastrzemski. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And that misses one and one. 
In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Count is one and two now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Here's the 2 2. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Hit sharply toward the right side. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Rangers. And the visiting club leads it six to three. Keone Kella comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Kella. Now at the plate, Kyle Tucker. He'll be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. And it's fouled away. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Chella, a former Pittsburgh Pirate, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth now as we take a look at league base. saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he's currently in fifth place in that department in the AL race. Digging in once again, Todd Frazier. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Frazier in front, three balls and a strike. The three and one pitch. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats a foul ball. The 3-2 pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Nick Solak. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First offering on its way. Oh, that's it. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three-run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. 
it's a good time to challenge here on 2-0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. I'm no pitching coach, but it doesn't look like he's finishing his pitches here. That misses high, ball three. Three and one. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. In there, a base hit. The catcher number two, Jeff. Digging in now, Jeff Mathis. No hits to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One or no delivery. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. High and deep down the left field line. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Two out with the man at first. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Ball two. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the change up to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested to see where he goes now. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. Colorado Springs came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Jose Alvarado gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Keone Kella records the save, his 27th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans, our final line score, first for the victorious visiting team, six runs, ten hits, no errors, they left nine runners on base. For the Rangers, three runs on eight hits, no errors, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 13 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please... Drive home safely.